Hi, my name is Matt Lunsford with Hall EFI, and to my left here I've got a uh, Gen 3 Hemi. It's a 6.4 out of a 2015 car. And uh, this engine here we've been using to develop our uh, VVT control with Terminator X and Terminator X Max ECUs. We've also been using it to do our short runner valve control, um, also known as SRV. Um, anything 2009 and up, um, Gen 3 Hemi has had VVT from Mopar. And uh, in the past, we haven't been able to control it, but uh, I'm excited to announce that we're able to control it at this point. Um, what it does take is it will require a Terminator X ECU, um, whatever system that is. We have multiples for the different generations engines. And uh, basically, it'll take a 558-131 sub-harness or a 558-132 sub-harness. The difference between these are um, the 131 is VVT only and that 132 is VVT and SRV. Um, the reason for that is Mopar, depending on where the truck came out of, or the engine came out of, if it was a truck or a car, um, it may not have had the SRV valve on it. And then the other thing is the SRV valve could have been on the front or the back of the intake. So um, we are gonna have both options that allow you to do both SRV and VVT, or if your engine doesn't have the SRV valve, you can just do the VVT valve. Um, so without any other delay, this is one of the harnesses here. This is the 32, so this will have both connections. It is identical, minus the idea that it has one extra connector for the SRV. Um, you'll have an inputs and outputs plug, you'll have a power tap plug, and you'll have a VVT plug and an SRV plug. The input, output, and the power tap connectors, they actually go to the Holly harness that came with your Terminator X ECU and uh, they, they plug in like so. And then your SRV connector can reach to the front of the engine or to the back of the engine, in this instance to the back. We can plug it in and hear it snap and now that's plugged in. And then the last one is your VVT connection. And uh, this will plug into the factory sub harness for the VVT um, that came with the engine. And typically that, that harness is attached to the cylinder head or to the intake back here in the back. And uh, it will literally just plug in and you hear a snap. And uh, at that point you are now completely wired and plugged in to do VVT and SRV control with your Gen 3 Hemi. Um, there are some steps in the laptop that we'll have to follow up with. This is the Terminator X V2 software here. And uh, within this, um, we have the ability to change your cam position and that's under your system parameters, variable cam timing option here. And in here, there is a 5.7 option, there is a 6.4 option, and there's a custom option. Um, custom would be if you wanna dial in your camshaft movement yourself, but uh, with either the 5.7 or the 6.4 drop down, this uh, checkbox on the right, the enabled VVT out solenoid output needs to be checked. And uh, then if you choose the 6.4 or the 5.7, you, you do not have ability to change the camshaft position. It's set up from uh, Holly to an optimal state. Um, if you do choose to want to play with the position, you have the ability to uh, type in numbers and uh, you know, play with it and how, how you desire. Um, for the SRV control, the short runner valve, um, it'll end up just being an output and that output will be called um, SRV. And in that, there'll be uh, the two parameters and uh, you'll, you'll need a TPS parameter and an RPM parameter to make it turn on or off. That's just how the uh, Mopar computers had done it as well. And uh, the, per, the normal settings are uh, 4,750 RPM and we like to at least require the throttle position to be above 60% to uh, have that valve open and close. So once that is set up, you can come to your pin map and in your outputs, you'll have one that's called VVT in solenoid and one that's called SRV. The SRV will go to pin B10 and the VVT in solenoid will go to B3 if you're using the harness that we have provided, the 558-131 or the 558-132. And then at that point you're done 
and you can uh, save the calibration and send it to the ECU and you now have the ability to uh, monitor and track the CAM position through data logs and everything else as well. In the future here we will have uh, all this support within the handheld, the three and a half inch touch screen that uh, the wizard will pre-populate the tables. It'll ask you what type of engine it is, a 5.7 or a 6.4, and it'll automatically populate the SRV valve and the uh, VVT solenoid pin to the correct pins on the pin map. So it truly will be no laptop required for VVT support here in the near, in the near future.